Hello, Mrs H here. You have to learn different statistical tests for A-level biology. Different types of data require different statistical tests and you have to know which test to use and why. This video will take you through examples of using the Spearman's Rank correlation step by step. Check out biologybreakdown.co.uk for supporting sheets and more examples. You use the Spearman's rank correlation to see whether there is a significant link or correlation between two variables or whether the correlation is due to chance. There are steps to follow when carrying out any statistical test. Firstly, you need to state your null hypothesis. Then decide which statistical test to use and why. Carry out the statistical test. Find the critical value at p equals 0.05. Compare your statistical test value with the critical value and then write a conclusion and reject or accept the null hypothesis. Here are the masses and heights of 10 year 12 students. We want to know if there is a link or correlation between these variables. We need to state a null hypothesis. A null hypothesis says there is no statistical significance between variables. Then we carry out a statistical test to see whether we can accept the null hypothesis or reject it. In this example, the null hypothesis is that there is no correlation between the heights of year 12 students and their masses. To carry out the Spearman's rank correlation, you need to add extra columns to your table. You need a column to rank the heights and a column to rank the masses. Select the biggest height and rank that as one, the next biggest as two, and so on and so on. Then do the same for mass. Notice that there are two 72 kilogram masses. How do we rank those? Well, they take up rank positions seven and eight, but because they are the same value, we have to give them the same rank, which is halfway between rank position seven and rank position eight. So 7.5 is what we give them. Then we have to continue ranking from nine onwards. Next, we have to calculate the difference in ranks. So for the first row, nine minus 7.5 equals 1.5, complete for the rest of the column. Then you need to square the difference. So 1.5 times 1.5 equals 2.25, then complete the column. Then you add column D squared together, which gives you 7.5. This is the sum of D squared and you can see where this goes in the formula. Let's look at the formula in a bit more detail. The sum of D squared is the sum of the differences squared, which is 7.5. RS is the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. This will be our statistical value and n is the number of sets of results. In this example, n equals 10. Now we can calculate the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient as rs equals 1 minus 6 times 7.5 divided by 10 times 10 squared minus 1. That gives us 1 minus 45 divided by 990 and then 1 minus 0 0.045 which gives us a final value of 0 0.955. What does 0 0.955 tell us? A Spearman's rank value will always be between minus 1 and 1. Minus one would be a perfect negative correlation, meaning as one variable increases, the other one decreases. A plus one will be a positive correlation, meaning as one variable increases, so does the other. So 0 0.955 indicates an almost perfect positive correlation, 
but values are not always as close to perfect as this one is. And when they are not close to perfect, we have to find out whether they are significant or not. The table below can be used to find critical values. Our Spearman's rank value needs to be compared to a critical value to see if our results are statistically significant. In other words, is there a significant correlation? We had 10 sets of results, so N is 10. In biology, we use P equals 0 0.05. This means if our statistical value is greater than the critical value in this column, the probability of our results being due to chance is less than 5%. So the correlation would be very significant. Our critical value is 0 0.648. To compare our Spearman's rank value to the critical value, we can use this diagram, which helps us to see whether we accept or reject the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis was, there is no correlation between the heights of year 12 students and their masses. The critical value was 0 0.648, and our Spearman's rank correlation coefficient value is 0 0.955. As 0 0.955 is greater than 0 0.648, the null hypothesis is rejected and we can write a conclusion. The Spearman's rank value of 0 0.955 is greater than the critical value of 0 0.648 and the null hypothesis is rejected. There is a significant correlation between the heights of year 12 students and their masses there is less than a 5% probability you would get these results due to chance. And that's it. Thanks for watching. You can find more useful resources and examples on using Spearman's rank correlation and other statistical tests at biologybreakdown.co.uk. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe to be kept up to date on new content.